Hi, I'm Sven, head of marketing at Jabby. We're a game-changing startup challenging kids to, to be more active by rethinking the way they play. We are asking for $500,000, and we're projecting a break-even already at the end of 2018. So how many of you guys are parents in here? Come on. All right. So you're probably familiar with this situation right here. <laughs> All right, it's a very uh, familiar situation in most families. And uh, basically, you know, most kids spend endless hours on their devices passively, right? Consuming rather than, than, um, than playing. Um, and it's easy to blame it on technology, but we don't believe technology is the problem. In fact, we think it's the solution. So we asked ourselves, what if we use technology to fuel the way we play? So, so Jabby combines everything that's fun and rewarding about video games and uh, it combines it with all the healthy benefits that active play provides. In the game, you choose your hero, and uh, you level up through uh, completing different daily challenges and uh, progressing through the Jabby universe. So here's where we are right now. We have a patent in the final stages of approval. We are ready for production in Q2 of 2018. We have a retail price of $95, and we're currently negotiating with the world's biggest toy retailer. So we've had massive brand exposure. Can't afford to talk about that right now with the time, but uh, Discovery Channel is featuring us next, next week, so uh, check that out. With uh, the current rate of daily signups that we have right now, we uh, are on track to uh, get 10,000 signups before we start production. And, um, and that's without spending anything on advertising. So the Jabby Gloves are just the beginning. We have a whole range of products, accessories, and features planned, all to add to the Jabby universe. But a great product requires a great team. And our CEO, Christian, is an experienced entrepreneur with more than 25 years of experience building successful products and companies. He handpicked a solid team of competent people with years of experience from companies such as Disney and Microsoft. And we're here, again, to ask for $500,000. And we're projecting a break-even in 2018 with a projected revenue of $1.6 million. We're looking for an investor profile in these fields right here. And uh, if you want to know more, if you want to come try Jabby out and uh, be a part of the Jabby universe, come at Demo Booth A44 on Friday, tomorrow. Check it out. Thank you. And thank you, Sven. <laughs> Do you have a good lawyer? <laughs> I mean, are you, are you afraid of potential legal suits? So we actually being really injured with this thing. The thing is, you can't really hurt yourself when it's completely stressed out. No, and someone else potentially on the other end. But we can, we can measure if it's, uh, if it's not stretched out and people are punching each other and, and, and want to sue us because of that. We can measure on metadata uh, and see if they're too close to each other when, when the hit happens. So. Hey, uh, I'm Jan, I'm the CTO. Um, uh, it, the game rules is going to be like you get minus points if you perform specific movements like uh, punching below the waist or... And yeah, so we... we through the game rules, we will try to. Yeah. And then the, the toy business is kind of a hits business, and I'm curious on how, is, if you've ever navigated through retail with this before. Yeah, I think it's, 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 it's a hard business. Yeah, it is. And uh, we, in the company, we got uh, our Thomas, who has uh, been CEO at uh, Disney for five years in Nordic. Yeah, we have the, he's the direct, he has been the director of consumer products at Disney Nordic, and he has more than 20 years of experience with uh, toy products and, and taking them to market and all the things that complexities that it, it involves. And, and what are you currently thinking on distribution? How do you think about doing that? Uh, we're going to start production in Europe and um, we're going to sell it in Europe and in the States. And uh, from there on, we will start a production in the States as well. Is it mostly through your own channels or, or through retail yeah, channels? Yeah, in the beginning it will be. Sorry, Sven. So we have a, we have a strategy uh, around our own channels. And the thing is, you might have seen us actually online. We've been like have massive exposure. Uh, and the thing is, when people see, see Jabby, they share it left and right. 
So we have a very uh, low cost per lead. Um, and so we have a good online strategy on that. But we also have online retailers. And like I said, we have uh, the world's biggest toy retailer as well. He, uh, he, they're, they're very interested in, uh, in having, um, actually putting down uh, 2,000 uh, orders here to begin with. So yeah, we have that as well. Did you consider doing a Kickstarter or kind of anything around that? We, uh, we have considered doing a Kickstarter, yes. And we actually had a Kickstarter in, in, the, in the spring. Um, the product wasn't ready there. We didn't have the right strategy. So uh, we, we don't want to get to a Kickstarter. We're going to get directly to, to the consumers uh, via our online strategy here. And we've actually been collecting sign-ups. That, that's what the Kickstarter helped with, really collecting sign-ups and, and uh, people that like, said they're ready to buy. So. What's the target demographic of kids you're going after? And do parents ever have issues with just some of the idea of punching? So the thing is, our target demographic is 7 to 14-year-old to 14 year old kids and, of course, their parents. And especially, we've had a lot of dads saying, like, yeah, we really want, we want to try this. Uh, oh, it's, we really want to try the product out with our kids. And uh, a lot of dads really, like, you know, love the whole uh, boxing thing to it. Of course, we have some, uh, some uh, moms, you know, being like, oh, but, you know, we can't do that in the kitchen, but um, very little of that. Most dads are, and, and especially older brothers and stuff, love, you know, punching their brothers and stuff with it, so, yeah. I'm impressed by the team. I think the, the risks of, of launching a toy is, is, are very high. I guess you're probably going for 2018 Christmas. What, what will you do if it, if it sort of lags and you, you don't really take off next Christmas or whenever you're going to launch it? Uh, the Christmas sales is so big, it's like 70%, and we really want to, to have that. If we don't make it, <clears throat> I can still make the funding myself. And but we will see next Christmas. Thank you, Javi. Yeah, the time is up, so we have to move on.